coach, why do men push good women away? Okay, let me tell you. Number one, he pushes her away because he doesn't want to elevate. He doesn't. No, these are not true facts. This guy is a charlatan. Uh, more like a Derek Jackson. He gaslights a lot of women's heads up to make them to believe that there are more bad men out there taking advantage of good women. This is a bad conundrum, okay? This is a problem for a lot of beta males like him. And there's a lot more women who take advantage of good men, okay? All right, so let's just get that out of the way right now. But let's continue on to what he has to say. Want to become a better version of himself, and he realized. No, no. And any man that gets a better version of himself is not a man. And the nine times out of the ten, eighty percent of the women. I'm going to repeat this so you guys can understand. Eighty percent of the time, women choose bad men. <laughs> they don't know how to choose good men. All right. Most of the time, when women choose men, they don't get approval from their fathers. So instead of getting approval from their fathers, which are missing, like most people's fathers are, they will look at appearances, they will not even work with that man in the sense that he's he's supposed to be up front. All real good men are up front of what they need, okay? Other than that, let's continue on. This is that if I stay with this particular woman, I gotta be better and I'm unwilling to sacrifice that. Number two as I said before, most men don't think this way. Most men are sexual by nature. They're not upfront by nature. They're either beta or beta alpha. Okay, beta males are easily to be controlled. Okay, women already know that these are the nice guys. If you got money and you're a woman and you meet a beta male, he's the perfect guy. But women don't choose beta males. They usually choose the beta alpha construct, which is a bad, very bad thing. Beta alpha construct is about twenty five percent of the males out there. All right, let's go, let's let's continue on. These are the bad men. These are the men that women tend to gravitate towards. They don't like good men with things to do. Okay, all right, okay. Ooh, he's intimidated. See, many men are intimidated by a woman. Number one, who knows who she is. Number two, this is not true at all as well. Lots of guys that I talk to, they're not intimidated at all. The problem with a lot of males out there is that they lay with the wrong woman because they lack the education. Beta males and beta alpha males. These are the two brackets where women tend to gravitate towards. Women have more power in the relationship than the men do. So men don't really look up to a woman at all to try to be like her. They, don't, they have no interest. They're mostly in their sexual energy. So they're not going to stoop that low to be like her, okay, because most likely she's going to be one of those <laughs> 304 or okay, anyway, but other than that, it depends on the woman's choices. When women make poor choices and decisions, they suffer in the long run, okay? She's secure in her right in the woman that she's become, and she does not need him for her happiness. She's already... You no, know, she's going to need him for some sort of happiness. I, every woman I talk to who was either broke, not a virgin, not into polygyny, not really got her shit together. They don't really cater to guys like intelligent men. They don't really cater to guys who got it together themselves. So I always teach women and say, why don't you deal with a man who's just on the same level, wavelength, instead of looking for a beta alpha construct, okay? But to each his own, okay? She just wants to be in a loving relationship and he's intimidated by that. No. Number three, Not true. she cannot be controlled. Men push away women who they can't control, especially if they have those controlling behaviors, those narcissistic behaviors. Uh, as I said before, I knew he was going to say narcissistic. Uh, women are more controlling in the relationship, <laughs> especially when it comes to sex. <laughs> Control is a construct that most people have been taught by alpha males. Alpha male fathers are usually not generally talked about in society, but usually a man is supposed to be in control. Now, it's, I'm not saying it's impossible for a woman to be in control, okay? I'm just saying that most of the time they're not in control. And when, when women are acting like men to have a career, to do all these things, going to colleges, what is the purpose of having a man, okay? Okay, there's no purpose of having a man unless she wants to procreate with that man. Now, I've met women who want to procreate with me, but I said that's going to cost a fee. Okay, you know, no money, no honey. I have control of my life. 
I don't need a woman underneath me 24 7. I have a certain amount of standards which has to be met before, you know, I even copulate with any type of female, especially if she's not a virgin, okay? If she's not a virgin, she's already not my type, okay? But you can understand people have certain standards, but most people don't follow those standards. And this is a problem with most people in general. Let's continue. It can't control you when you are a critical thinker and you think for yourself. You know, most women don't usually think for themselves. Now, I know I get some heat for this. <laughs> but I'm not talking about all women. I'm talking about most women, okay? Most men think for themselves in the wrong frequency. They don't care for controlling a woman. The only thing they care about, most men are low maintenance. So they care nothing about control. Beta males and beta alpha males care nothing about controls. But the alpha male, like myself, do. Okay? When I want certain things to be done a certain way, it's going to be heard. If it's not heard, we got a little problem there. But most people don't like alpha. When most women, in particular, don't like alpha males. They don't even know what alpha males are. And the millennials uh, twist and turn their own terminologies for it. But trust me on this, what I'm saying here. Men don't want control. Most beta males are too nice to one controls, and and beta alpha male construct the fuck boys and the frat boys and the chads and the rads and the incarcerated ones. Those are the ones who just are in their sexual energy, okay. And these women get taken advantage of by them, okay. But trust me, men don't want control most of the time. It's the women who have control. All right, okay. Push away, and last but definitely not least, ooh, he knows that. He's not shit. He's not ready for this type of relationship. Yeah, yeah. He's not with That's a beta alpha construct. A lot of times when I talk to women, they say he ain't shit. I say, okay, where is it? what is his job? What does he do in his spare time? What kind of hobbies he like to do? Most of these women are only drawn to him because he's attractive, okay? Or he has a lot of money. He has no potential whatsoever, okay? And I keep getting this from women who got hurt pretty bad and they turn into feminists. So they'll be like, oh, you know, like I said before, this guy is catering to women. I'm, I'm, he's not talking about any facts to me. I hear this all the time from charlatans about catering to women when they don't even have the education. There's a lot of men who don't have the education, too. But men usually naturally learn through trial and error on how to become a man. They become very low maintenance. Remember, men are low maintenance. They have no need to be controlling a woman when they know that if they try to control her too much, he ain't gonna get new pin punani. <laughs> this is a, most men do not know how to control their sexuality. Beta and beta alpha males don't. They don't. They don't have it. Okay, and as I said before, you know this man is a charlatan, and like a, like Joe Osteen, TV Jakes, these guys, they cater to women. And when you ever hear someone being like a Derek Jackson types, okay. You know, you shouldn't, you should never listen to us. And on top of that, I told you, he's about money. So he already got popularity, whatever. I'm just going on from my experiences with women tell me, okay, what I know, my own psychology and psychosis from the, from the horse's mouths, mouths, okay. Anecdotally. Let's continue. To give up who he is to who he must become to be with you. No. A man is always knowing who he is, period. Okay. If this man says he needs this, the more standards a man has, the more she might not be able to contend with that man. Now, if I if I try to negotiate with some women, okay, some women want my seeds because I make pretty babies and shit like that, you know. But other than that, they can't agree with everything I'm saying because that'd be impossible. I'd just say no. I got my wife in Ethiopia. I lost my virginity to my wife in Ethiopia. I have certain standards that I have put myself above. I don't like children, okay? I don't play with little girls, okay, right? But this guy's face, he looked like a charlatan. <laughs> you gotta watch guys like this. You'll never learn from guys like this. Especially the passing of Kevin Samuels, okay? Rest in peace of the soul. About accountability, because what is most of the ball will fall mostly in the woman's court, okay? So, other than that, to each his own. I hope you learned something in this video, okay? So this video is, see that? Why do men push good men away? They don't push good men away, okay? Why do men, bad, bad, bad men will push good women away because she's either terrible and bad or she's not into polygyny sharing that man or the fact that 
she's just not that good at holding him. Something's wrong with her, obviously. And it's not money. Men are, men are not held by money as much. But women are, okay? I said, let's see. I'm single and a good woman, okay? Yeah, yeah, I can understand what his message is. I don't know where it comes from. Maybe she agrees with this man because of uh, her lack of knowledge from the past. I don't know. But as I said before, a good man will not push a good woman away. And most of the time, women don't like good men, okay? All right, okay? Peace.